Hey guys. Okay, we're going to come back to actually writing this time rather than the marketing stuff we've been doing. I will get back to marketing for a few videos later. But for the moment, let's actually talk about writing and specifically expectations. Your expectations and your reader's expectations. The two shall never meet. Unfortunately, that's more true than I wish it was. When you're writing something, you're really in the groove, you're going to be writing something, and whatever you're working on at that moment, that section, you're going to think, this is freaking brilliant, it's the best thing I've ever written. And you're going to put the book together, and you're going to put it out, and you're going to publish it. And you're going to sit back, and as far as I can tell, everybody does this. Every writer experiences this. You're going to sit back, and you're going to wait for those reviews to come in, mentioning that brilliant piece that you wrote and absolutely no one will. Most readers won't even notice it. Expectations versus reality. Is that necessarily a bad thing? Well, it can be very frustrating for sure. Uh, particularly when the readers lock onto something that you had no particular intent to be important but suddenly that's all they're asking questions about. A great example of this actually comes from Breaking Bad. Anybody who's watched the series, that you know Gus Frink is this uh, villainous character in the series. What most people don't realize, and there's a, uh, a couple of YouTube channels that follow this that, that tell the story way better than I possibly could. Uh, the actor who plays him was initially given just one line of instruction. You're playing a guy who is a nice guy who sells chicken. That's the entire, that's what the actor was being given. The, the expectation of the writers of the series was this is just a one-off character, we're gonna have him in, get, you know, have him in, have him do his cameo, and move him out. The reality of the situation is that due to some rather clever uh, improv by the actor in question, readers, uh, readers, viewers in this case, jumped on that character. They were like, there's something up with this guy. And they wanted to find out more. And that forced the writers of the series into a different direction than they had originally been planning on going. You're going to find that's going to happen to you a lot as you write. And you need to be ready and adaptable to take advantage of these situations when they pop up. Don't feel pressured that you have to do it. But when your readers give you an opportunity, take it. Because quite often, just through the sheer value of crowdsourcing uh, for ideas, they're going to come up with something that's freaking brilliant that you missed. Because a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand minds just throwing ideas at random, there's going to be a certain percentage of pure brilliance. And no matter how great a writer you are, you're not going to be able to compete with that, uh, that shotgun approach. At least not if you have the time to pick and choose. Granted, if you actually force somebody to endure the entire shotgun approach, they would probably swear off reading forever. It's just kind of the way things are. So what I'm saying is temper your expectations of what your readers are going to uh, are going to experience because their experiences are different than yours and when they're reading your work they're not necessarily going to see the same things that you see, particularly the subtle stuff. There are things that you can beat them over the head with and make it impossible to miss. And as you gain more skill, you're going to be able to include more and more of the subtle stuff and have it get noticed. But initially, particularly through your first few books, keep an eye on those reviews. Look for the stuff that tends to show up in what your readers see, because that might be something that might be gold waiting to be grabbed. Don't get too frustrated when they don't see what you want them to see every single time. 
and um, because when they do, it's a great feeling. All right. Hope you guys are uh, everybody's doing well. I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna uh, probably set up another video again. I'm trying to do a video every day, at least the weekdays, five days a week. And we're gonna see if I can keep that up and for how long. But I'm hoping to at least get through September. Actually, let's let's extend that. I'm gonna ho hope to get through November. And I want you guys to start thinking about November. We got Nano Rimo coming up. And that's kind of a big deal for uh, this concept. So if you've got an idea for a book, now's the time to start prepping. That said, we'll talk about NaNoWriMo a little bit more in the future. For now, I hope everybody's well and safe and writing. Okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.